Scott Austin joins me on the set to tell us all about this. Um, and it's Google fighting back, basically, against d diabolical governments around the world. Yeah, yeah, this isn't the norm in the U.S., but imagine <laughs> logging into your personal email, Gmail in this case, yeah. and essentially seeing a warning that the government is watching you. Um, uh, that's kind of what's happening It doesn't here. happen often to me, I can it say is. that. <laughs> Maybe it will from now on, because this was only you launched yesterday, this right? This is newly launched. Um, it's targeting governments that obviously are trying to censor or, or you know, peek into to what uh, their their uh, citizens are, are doing. Mm. Um, you know, the Google didn't uh, specify which governments, but uh, I think the obvious target is China, yep. where uh, they've had a lot of uh, you know uh, run-ins with uh, with China censors, uh, and then probably some countries in the Middle East. We've already uh, had uh, some examples of users in in China, Hong Kong, uh, New Zealand, and Thailand see this warning uh, today. So I, I would imagine we'll see some acro across the, yeah. the, the middle the Middle East too. So how do they do this? They have an algorithm, right? Yeah, this, they. Won't tell us, but uh, they, they have some sort of technology that, that can identify which uh, uh, users are, are being compromised. And in that case, if you see this warning, that means you should probably add some sort of extra layer of security to, uh, you know, password. So, so, so don't be do specific. One, two, three, four, if, five, six. Specifically, if, if I wake up tomorrow <laughs> and go and log on to Google, what, what, <laughs> oh my goodness, and I read this, we Run believe for the hills. Do I, what do, Yeah, what do, what, what do I do? Yeah, you know, I think you'd probably report it to Google, uh, yeah. and then you'd also, uh, you know, try to change your your password just to to make it a little bit easy, uh, harder to compromise. Um, you know, beyond that, there's not much power uh, for you to, you know, to. It depends on what you're saying in your Gmail. You know, I, I wouldn't say to to suddenly. Uh, well, I mean, I'm sure I'd be boring them to death. Um, with well, my that's emails, funny. But I mean, you know, I'm just I'm just saying. I mean, it's just should you inform your company? Should you um, should you tell the police? Should you ring up the CIA, National no, no, Security no, no, no. Advisors? I, I, what, what, what I'm, not, I'm not sure that uh, you can get to that level yet. I, I don't even know that Google necessarily can say 100% that a government agency. It's just that they suspect that okay. this is happening. They're, they're finding that there's, you know, some sort of incoming uh, message there. So what, are, what, is, uh, what does China say about this? Have they reacted? They haven't reacted yet, um, and they didn't react to the warning yet uh, last week uh, that Google, uh, this measure, this warning mechanism that Google also put into their uh, search site for China users when they type in a certain and sensitive word. that was last word. week. That was last week. So uh, this is a way for Google to tell its users, hey, these hitches, di disruptions in service uh, are not our problems. Uh, it's the governments that, that are doing this. It's out of our control. So is, is this also Google ratcheting it up sort of a war against against China in a way? And, and, and sort of saying, you know, we're going to stand our ground on certain in, in stuff? In some ways, yeah. And the, and the U.S. government is kind of pushing uh, a lot of these Internet sites to take a stand and to do something. There's a, uh, a, a, a bill in Congress right now that's floating around that uh, uh, could require companies to, to try to uh, you know, enact certain measures uh, to, uh, to combat against uh, you know, censoring and all these other uh, things that uh, governments are trying to do to, to Very compromise. Quickly, about, yeah. about 10 seconds. Yeah. Is this helping Google get its groove back, do you think, um, in terms of this? Uh, we, we, we showed the chart last week where Google was losing its market share in China, for instance, mm. uh, uh, drastically because of all the disruptions in its service. Uh, yeah, I, I think it, that, that could be that possibility. And obviously but the market likes it. 1.72% right uh, well, today, 580 a share there. Thank you very much, Scott sure, Austin of bet. The Wall Street Journal. More on that on WSJ.com.